in this section, let's first learn about the sun and how the sun's light gets to the building that you're designing. And we will also discuss how to analyze and communicate the solar geometry information that is particular to the site. The sun is a huge fusion reactor with large amount of energy being released continuously. Solar radiation is being emitted from the surface of the sun at about 5,500 degrees Celsius. The amount and composition of solar radiation that is reaching to the outer edge of the Earth's atmosphere are quite constant and unvarying, and it is called a solar constant. Earth rotates and moves around the sun while tilted at about 23.5 degree. Because of this tilt, the northern hemisphere faces the sun in June and southern hemisphere faces the sun in December. The vertical angle at which the sun's rays strike the Earth is called the altitude angle and it is a function of the latitude, time of the year, and time of the day. In this drawing, we, we see how latitude angle is derived from these three factors. During the summer solstice, which is June 21st, the sun is directly overhead on the point at 23.5 degree north latitude, which is called the Tropic of Cancer. During the winter solstice, which is December 21st, the sun is directly overhead on the point at 23.5 degree southern latitude, which is called the Tropic of Capricorn. Based on where you are on Earth, the tilt of the rotation, which changes based on the term of the year, creates a seasonal difference. Effect of the altitude angle is illustrated in this diagram of the cosine law. This law says that a given beam of sunlight will illuminate a larger area as the sun gets lower in the sky. As the given, given sunbeam is spread over larger area compared to the smaller area, the amount of sunlight that a surface receives per square meters changes with the cosine law of the angle between the sun's ray and the normal of the surface. Solar radiation is either direct or diffused. This depending on cloud coverage or depending on surrounding elements. A total amount of solar radiation adding both direct and diffuse solar radiation together is what's called a global horizontal radiation. We use this global horizontal radiation value or GHR value in order to determine how much solar radiation there are for the site. This map shows the overall world GHR being different for different part of the world. Now let's think of a way to represent a solar geometry on the perspective of the site location. When you are standing at your site, where is the sun? And how do you describe it? Let's imagine that there is an imaginary dome called the sky dome. We are interested only in the sun's location in its ray reaching its way to the building at the center. The point where the sun ray penetrates this imaginary sky dome every hour are marked and we can connect it. Then we get a line on the sky dome called the sun path of the day. Representing with the yellow line here. Now where is the sun at a given moment? We determine how high the sun is based on the altitude angle. And the azimuth is the angular distance between the sun's projection onto the horizon, measured from the line pointing due south. These two angle system is the most widely used component angle system, which is again consisted of uh, altitude, 
which is measured based on the vertical plane, and the azimuth angle, which is measured on the horizontal plane.